going on guys? So I was up in New Jersey and I was only there for a weekend but I had to get a little bit of fishing in. So I went to my local spots out in Bayonne uh, this time of year. This was uh, late August. A lot of other species of fish that aren't normally found inshore in those waters move in. Uh, so spot croakers, kingfish, Atlantic croakers, a lot of smaller kind of bottom fish move in. So the goal was really to catch uh, some of those and then as well as maybe some resident striped bass. So I fished two rigs, a high low rig with some small pieces of worms. That was kind of meant for more of the uh, smaller bottom fish. And then I also fished a larger circle, circle hook with a uh, full piece of bloodworm. And that was meant to try to get some of the uh, the resident stripers that are basically in the area all year round because the larger fish are still a little bit north uh, for the summer. So that was the plan. So stay tuned and let's see how it went. All right, so a little bit better look at what we're going with. There's your bloodworm, three ounce sinker up on top. So we're just gonna cast this out. And this is the rig I'm hoping to get some larger stripers on, or maybe just some larger fish in general. So let's see how it goes. And the secondary rod, smaller pieces of worms, little two ounce sinker. So this is gonna be more of the uh, smaller mixed bag kind of bottom fishing setup. Hoping for some croakers, kingfish, or some other types of small fish that are out there. Alright, not much going on in the first spot. Let us try spot number two. Little pieces of bloodworms. And we got something. So I moved out of this spot just because I had nothing in that last spot. This says actually feels like a decent fish. This is a little bit of a lighter setup, but it feels like a decent one. What is this? Oh, nice little striper. Oh, pulled a little bit of drag there. Get this guy on up here. First fish of the day, little striper. All right, first fish of the day, definitely not a big one, but this time of year, all the big stripers are still up north. So this is a nice little catch. Let's drop that guy back, and let's get back at it. Got something. I think. Maybe not. Oh, yep, something's on. Something small. What? Oh, okay. This is what I was looking for. Our first spot croaker of the day. Target species, kind of. All right, so this is more the species we were targeting on that small high-low rig. Nice little spot croaker. Beautiful little fish, love the pattern on this guy. So we'll drop this guy back and hopefully we can get some other ones. There's a little bite. Right? Wrong? Could be wrong. Hope I'm right though. Let's reel this in a little bit. Is there any weight behind it? There is, but this might just be a whole bunch of seaweed because I've caught a ton of seaweed here today. Oh no, it's a crab. Little blue crab hanging on to the worm. Come on, buddy, let go. Let go. There he goes. Oh. 
Probably another little striper. It is a little striper. You got one? Oh, you got a fluke. <laughs> That's too fluke this summer for me. No, this little guy's fine. Check out the bait one last time. Tide is basically going out, so can't fish too much longer. Worms are there, but we are gonna call it a day here. All right, so that is gonna do it. First spot did not really produce anything. I had one hit there. Moved over to a little bit rockier area and had a okay amount of hits. Unfortunately, the, the tide moved out pretty quickly. By that point, I was only able to fish that spot for 45 minutes or so. But picked up two little stripers and one little spot croaker. So can't really complain too much. Just wish I would have had a little bit more time. But especially in that spot and then fishing kind of salt water in general, you're kind of at the mercy of, mercy of the tides. But it was nice to get out in one of my local spots that I grew up fishing. Still had a pretty good time. So hope you guys liked it. And I will see you next time.